My name is Fortin Erefio Sani. Okay. My name is Mrs. Chine Achuba Akili. Okay. A round of applause for her. <laughs> the second question. Can you please tell me, anybody that stands up now will tell me two ways in which you can build your self-esteem. I mean, I just said that. No, sit down. I will tell you what they can come out. Good. Speak for yourself and be bold. Is that correct? Yes. Is it? Yes. A round of applause for him. And that means that as a media personality, you have entry and access to a lot of places that other people don't have access. One thing my mentor tells me is like, don't count, don't don't look down on yourself and just be focused. I'm advising everyone who has started to do a writing career. And before you develop it, it's hard. If you do your eyes to develop it, it's hard. What is the hard? What do you think is going on? I don't know what I'm talking about. A hand is skinny. You need to have a thick skin. Because the thing is, is when you write something, if you want to publish, it remains only you know that you're taking it off. But the moment you release it in public, then you show people what's going on. People are going to have to write, are going to praise you, are going to make the idea of you, are going to get angry. Are we ready to begin? So number one, your word is magazine. 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 Can I please get the definition of the word magazine? Yes, you may. It's a, a periodical that usually contains a collection of articles, stories, poems, and pictures. Or the general by the general public. Can I get a speech of the word magazine? It's a speak, it's a noun. Just can the word magazine be used in a sentence form? Yes, it can. Only scan a magazine while waiting in the lobby of the dentist's office. Magazine. M A G A Z I N Magazine. Very good. Word number seven. Your word is piazza. 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 P I A Z Z A Piazza. Very good. Number 44. Spell the number 44. Your word is fatigue. Fatigue. Can I have the definition of the word fatigue? Fatigue is weariness. Sorry. Fatigue is weariness from work or exertion. Or exhaustion from the strength. Fatigue. F-A-T-I-G-U-E 
U E fatigue. Correct. Spell forty five. Your word is necessary. Meaning please. Sorry, I didn't understand what you asked for. Meaning. The definite the meaning. Um, meaning of what? Necessary. Thank you. The meaning. That must be by reason of the nature of things. That is determined and fixed and inevitable. Necessary. Necessary. N E S S E S A R Y. Necessary. Spiller 10. Your word is point. May I have the repetition of the word? Poignant. May I have the meaning of the word? That word is originally Latin, but is gone through French before becoming English. P O I G N A N C. Point. Fantastic. Your word is azimuth. The word is azimuth. Could you use azimuth in a sentence? Using a compass, the navigator estimated the azimuth of the star. Azimuth. A Z I M U T H. Azimuth. Excellent. F A N T O C C I N I Fantasy. Excellent. S C H I P P E R K Skipper Key. Correct. Cash 
seconds. Fellow number 11, your championship word is Gaga. Gaga. G. A. G. A. K. U. Gaga. Change my name to God you I know more, I don't buy more to God you win. for a brief stopover to connect the final flight to Washington DC and it has been a very fun feeling and memory memorable experience for us and although it has been a little bit stressful we enjoyed every bit of the journey and as we are going we we'll also wish that we have a very very peaceful journey and very enjoyable one thank you to God you I know more I don't buy more to God you win I say my market no go say but God you win my name is Ruth G and I'm the winner of the song and the edition of the Spelling Bee in Nigeria. And part of my goodies as the winner is a trip to USA, Washington DC to the 89th edition of the script Spelling Bee over there and we are here at Washington DC now. We just arrived here. I just want to use this opportunity to thank everyone who supported me throughout this exercise. But first of all, I thank God for giving me success in the competition. Hey everybody, we're now at this Crips National Spelling Bee, the 89th edition venue, the Gaylord Convention Center. And we just arrived here now. And by tomorrow, we're going to be very busy. And you should meet my lovely coach, Mrs. Sadeke with Olu Phillips. Here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Hello, everyone. Hi, this is... I'm here with Ruth and we're at the home by the venue of the event. It's so much fun. We're looking forward to it now. A hauberk is a long tunic of, of ring or chain mail that, with a close-fitting helmet and a shield, constituted the main defensive armor of the 12th to 14th centuries. Hauberk, H-A-U-B-E-R-K, hauberk. That is correct. Odometer. I have the definition, please. An instrument attached to a vehicle to measure the distance tra traversed. Odometer. O D O M E T E R. Odometer. That is correct. Hi. Hi. Senescent. Senescent. S E N E. S C E N T 
tea senescent? That is correct. One, we're now at in the third round at the Scripps Penny B Washington DC 89th edition. And also the atmosphere is really tensed up. I know the spellers are like, ah, oh. and the words are so awesome. If you see them, you could not even spell them. I'm, I'm really serious. But if I was spelling, I'll rate myself 90%. But actually, I wish I was spelling because if I won the cash prize, I'll be like, I was in heaven. Hey Deb, I'll look for you, alright? Today marks day 4 at Gaylord and today we had a, the on stage spelling and it's been awesome and great over here which is once you spell and you miss so you want to misspell your out and hopefully or rather fortunately I've been able to spell my words correctly. So we're just hoping right now for the best that I qualify to the seven finals. 49, A4 and Song. From North Canton, Ohio, number 181, Shiv Dewan. I feel like um, like there are many people in your hometown that know about the spelling bee that are paying yeah, attention it's, to it. It's all over social media. Yeah. And people have seen it, and they've been calling to tell me that they have seen it. What time is it over there? What, what? Five yeah, hours? Yeah, so what time uh -huh. is it now? So 11 p.m.? It's midnight. It's midnight? Yeah. It's, midnight? it's seven already? Mm. Yeah. Pronunciations? I have just the two. Rezo, Rezo. Rezo. R A. S E A U Razor. Uh, Aqua Ghana, 14 years old. I got to Washington DC by air. Uh, it took 10 to 11 hours. So, here's Ghana. Ghana is a culturally rich country because there's so many people and they each got unique backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds. So we have five major ethnic groups in our country. And that's the Akan, Ewa, Moli Dekwani, Mgadangbe, and the Guan. We've got natural reserves, which house a lot of species of animals, yeah. Ghana. A4 Ansa, 14 year old 7th grader, first time here at the B. Hello, A4. Hi. Dipnoas. Dipnoas. May I have the origin of the word Dipnoas? Both parts of this word are originally Greek. Dipnoas. Dipnoas. May I have the meaning of the word Dipnoas? Dipnoas means having both lungs and gills. Can you step a little bit forward and just pull the mic up? It might help. There you go. Yeah. Dipnoas. D I P N O O U S. Dipnoas? That is correct. That's worthy of celebration. It's not too often you see that combination of two O's with two separate syllables, but she recognized it. Well done. Picking up on those Greek roots. 14 year old, feeling good. One off a of perfect test score. Our next. From Eleanor Roosevelt. This is the only memorial that has a, has a statue to Eleanor Roosevelt. This statue here was added later by lobbying the disabled community. Gian Berets. I think it's G U Y A N N E. We are at Talent here in Montgomery to, to work and, and fight until justice runs down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. stream.
Dr. King, we saw the way you read that. Thank you. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Because I love America. Speak out against the United States. With anxiety and sorrow in my heart. So far, so good. This journey has been a very memorable experience. And also, we are, we are at Washington, D.C. for the Scripps National Competition there. And they had co winners for three years in a row. And the winners of the Spelling Bee were um, Niha Janga and Jerem Hathwar. And they were so excellent. And those guys were intelligent. I wish I was them. Because if I were there, I'll get 100%. And also, we also um, came to New York for a week for shopping. And we went to an amusement park called Coney Island. It was so, it was so uh, like I don't want to say um, interesting and fun feeling. I also enjoyed my stay all throughout in America, and also I hope someone out there will get an opportunity like me to win the spelling bee and come here and experience everything that's good and nice. Thank you. Our designated and smoke free. Thank you for your cooperation.